Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of another special screencast brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated in partnership with the Sleater Group. I'm working with the Sleater Group on helping bring some information to you that I think you will find incredibly useful for yourself and for your business. Who is the Sleater Group? Sleater.com, first of all, is where you want to go to find out for yourself, www.sleater.com. The Sleater Group is a group of accounting professionals. We're interrupting this program to bring you this special live broadcast. We have Doug Sleater live on the air. Stay tuned. We're going to bring him up right now. We are broadcasting live here with an impromptu live broadcast here on Google Plus and on YouTube. This is uh, hanging out with Doug Sleater on a Sunday. My name is Seth David. Doug Sleater is here with me. Doug, say hi. How are you doing, Seth? Absolutely fantastic. So for the, those of you just tuning in, Doug and I were hanging out here on a Sunday quite literally. And uh, the, the idea occurred is we're working on some video content, some things we want to work on, collaborate on together. And you know, one of the things we were noticing we were doing while we were talking is we were jumping around through a lot of different applications. Yeah, it, we, we just kind of, it dawned on us. Uh, uh, for, for a while now, I've been saying, it, as technology changes and blossoms with all these new tools, it's really not so much for the individual to become an expert on one thing, but so, so focus less on your ability on one thing but focus much more on your agility on many things. All right, how do I, where do I go to learn about all these things, right, Doug? And yeah. I think you've got a good answer to that question. Where does somebody go if they want to learn about emerging technologies for a small business that can help my business run more efficiently? Yeah, it's a perfect lead-in to what we're trying to do here at the Sleater Group is I just decided to make it my role to do, like you're doing, uh, look at technology, evaluate what we think will be the winners, um, scrutinize carefully, Scru scrutinize technologies carefully because in order for something to succeed in the marketplace, you've got to have good software uh, or hardware if that's what it is. You have to have a good company uh, with good people in that company. So the first thing I always do is I, I, I try to, well, usually I first see the software and then I say, hey, who's behind this? I try to understand who the people are. The pe good people make good products. They treat their other people that work for them well. They treat their partners well. They they build a company that will be here for you and I long term. So technology itself is, is just not that interesting unless it's backed by a company that we really think we can get behind. Okay, so this week coming up on the Sleater blog, right, we're going to be rolling out a series of video tutorials, which I'm going to record walking you through build.com and then we're going to start with build.com and then we're going to take a look at some of the other products that are going to be in your road show. So yeah. let's do two things Doug. If you can, share your screen, show us where your blog is and then show us once again where the road show is and how somebody can register for that. Sure, sure. Okay, so our blog is uh, pretty easy to find. If you go to sleeter.com, there's a little B here. <laughs> Maybe that was not obvious. Or sleeter.com slash blog, but anyway. That's what the B is for uh, the QuickBooks and Beyond blog. Uh, if you subscribe to our blog, I want everybody to subscribe to it because it'll just you know come to your email box as we as we update it, and you'll get the notifications. And what was the other thing you wanted me to tell you? Let's look at the road show. I want to see where to register again for the road oh. show. Yeah, I think by now our listeners are dying to register. Yeah. Roadshow, roadshow, right here and register now. I just had that register now button. Was it down at the bottom? Register now, and it takes you to a. Uh, it's a Reg Online page, but the price is like incredible. We priced it because we wanted everybody to just like say no brainer for a whole day of CPE eligible training, fifty nine bucks an accounting professional uh, on the early bird. Uh, if you're a member of ours, just forty nine bucks. Um, and the regular price is, you know, $69.59. But uh, if you're a small business owner, uh, we want you to come as well, and you're going to pay. But actually, better yet, come with your accountant. Have your accountant bring you in your free. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, make your accountant pay for it. That'll be <laughs> money back on your bill. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could split the cost. I don't know. Hopefully it's so cheap it's just not a problem. It's not about the money. It's about coming and learning about what's going on here. 
Uh, and you might say, Doug, am I going to be sold to? And anybody that knows me knows I don't do sales. In fact, I don't allow sales at my events. Yes, you're going to be sold to. You're going to be educated, and hopefully that education will make you realize it's a good thing for you to do. If so, you're going to buy. That's obviously what all of us want, but it, it is not a hard pressure kind of thing. I just I would never have an event that would do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah we're not selling timeshares here. We're not going to you know, make it difficult <laughs> right. to leave the room without signing up. The idea is to educate you about some of the options that are out there and the tools that you can use to really help your business run more efficiently and save you time and save you money. Ultimately, and this is what my first blog post is going to be about rolling out on this, is really these things improve your quality of life. Today's video, this first video, is going to take a look at Bill.com. That's what I want to take a look at. I want to take a look at how Build.com is going to improve the quality of your life by actually letting you take command and control of your payables and receivables anytime, anywhere. If you go to their website at www.build.com, they have their own video, which of course walks you through just a quick overview of what Build.com is all about. But right now, I'm going to actually take the free trial. I'm going to let you watch me do it. We're going to sign up right here. I'm going to sign up first name Seth, last name David, email. company name and the phone number 30 day risk free trial let's sign up let's see how it goes let's get started now okay so QuickBooks sync bring information about your payables and receivables from your accounting software into build.com first sync do this before anything else you'll save a lot of typing and avoid creating any duplicates okay so let's do my first sync where is QuickBooks for Windows installed? On my computer. So now I get this. says bring info about your payables and receivables to build.com. To start, close QuickBooks. Click Next. All right, so I'm going to close QuickBooks. It's on my other screen. Just got to wait for QuickBooks to close. And Next. Okay, actually, um, without moving it out of Dropbox, which I prefer not to because I've gotten really accustomed to doing things this way, even though I'm going to tell you what they tell you, which is they advise, the expert advise against this. I do this against medical advice. Um, and I can probably get away with it because I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to this stuff. Um, but I don't necessarily suggest it to y that you do it. Don't try this at home. And what I'm talking about is using QuickBooks in Dropbox because you can run into a lot of problems. You know, they say that you can get uh, corrupt data files. I haven't had that experience, but you can definitely get problems in terms of uh, conflicted copies and things of that nature. So you can create a, a very big mess. So don't try this at home. But I am going to keep it in Dropbox. I was able to by actually closing the QuickBooks file and reopening it while the uh, Bill.com app was running, I was able to get this. So I, I want to choose this option. Yes, always allow access even if QuickBooks is not running. Continue. And then it says you have chosen to grant the application, Bill.com, access to the QuickBooks file anytime even if it's not running. It's just confirming that you understand what you're doing. Click done. And then I'm back to, eh. All right, I'm on my other screen here. Uh, let me play. There we go. So uh, now I need to enter my bill.com username and password. I'm going to pull that off screen. Do, do, do. And then next, please select an organization to sync with. Got it. Okay, and so now I'm here, sync profiles, it's all done, so let me say sync, and it's syncing all of my QuickBooks data. It's a little scary, it's so scary. So and as you can see, it syncs both ways, right, because I have to build.com, I have to QuickBooks, it'll let me know if there are any errors, but obviously then what I can do is I can use this both ways. I can, if I have a new vendor, 
then what I can do is I can add them, I can log into my bill.com account, add them in, and clearly what this is suggesting to me, without knowing anything about bill.com, is that it will sync down to QuickBooks the next time I do a sync. And obviously at the same rate, if I add a vendor or customer to QuickBooks, it will sync up to bill.com the next time I run this. So right now it looks like it's syncing all my list information back. drink my coffee while I'm waiting, while it's querying for QuickBooks for changes. And it's obviously going to take a while the first time because I've never done this before, so it has a lot of data to sync with. Now one question I would have, I wonder, and I will ask this of my friends at Bill.com, is whether or not it syncs inactive data. In other words, if I have an inactive vendor, I wonder if that's being included in the sync. I wonder, I wonder, wonder why she ran away. There we are, vendor 200 out of 300 it says so far. Keep going, keep going. And uh, I'm not gonna make you sit through this. I'm gonna stop the recording and we will resume once this is done. If there's any information I feel you missed out on by not watching this whole status bar get all the way across I will be sure and let you know what that is okay so at this point we've uh, downloaded the free trial and we've set up our we've set up our sync between QuickBooks and bill.com so I'm going to log in and we're gonna just take a quick look at the overview and see what else remains for us to do and then the future segments, we're going to look at specifically how to set up your bills and how to set up your invoices and receivables. And we're going to dig a little bit deeper. And then really, if you want to learn the most you can about what this can do for you, you're definitely going to want to attend the Sleater Group's Roadshow when it comes to a city close to you. And of course, I will be rolling out uh, tutorials on this in the future as well. So when you first log in, it gives you this kind of dashboard talks to you about a few different things and I can choose don't show me this anymore and choose get started now and then it takes me into my startup checklist now one thing I had noticed once I come out of here it's not a hundred percent clear how to get back to that if you want to get back to that then come over here right here where it has your profile under your name click my profile and then over here is your startup checklist that's how you can get back to that very quickly and easily and you're going to want to make sure that all these things are done. You set up your first sync, you set up your inbox, your bank account, you set up your approvals, your, uh, you can upload your logo, which you'll want to do, uh, branded website address, which means you just put your own company name inside the address. It doesn't cost anything extra, so definitely do that. And uh, set up how customers will pay you. In other words, you choose which bank account the, uh, the money goes to. So have them pay it directly into your bank account. This way you don't have to pay any fees. So that's the overview and then if you actually come here and click overview it gives you a much smaller dashboard of those checklists of that checklist with those circles and then within here you have all the different areas that you can get into and set up and manage. And then of course just note the top home inbox is where everything comes in initially when you email it to your specialized email address or if you choose to upload your files they start off here in the inbox. This is where you want to come and code things, assign them as a bill, everything that you need to do, and you're going to be seeing this in the future videos that I roll out. Then, of course, once that's done, you kind of work from left to right. So we start off with home, we go to the inbox, we code things, payables, we pay bills, receivables, we receive payments or invoice customers. You can invoice directly from bill.com. And as time goes on, you're going to want to make this your portal. Because if you use a desktop version of QuickBooks, then this is how you take your QuickBooks company file substantially online because you can log into build.com with your phone. And I played around with this. There's not an app per se that you download and install on your phone, but they have a mobile app that runs in your mobile phone's browser. And once you're there, it works perfectly in terms of being able to approve bills to be paid or pay them or receive uh, payments from your customers. and then it's just a matter of syncing with QuickBooks the next time you are at your desktop. But you can run your whole business, or I should say substantially all of your business, right here from bill.com. Documents, as Doug mentioned when I was talking with him live, 
uh, you can view this as a full document management program. You can bring that. You can bring in a, a contract that you have with a vendor and just store it as a document. It doesn't have to be a bill. And then, of course, we can run reports. So we're going to be taking a deeper look at all of this as we go on. If you have any questions, go to sleeter.com. And then once you're here, or you can go to sleeter.com forward slash roadshow. But either way, sleeter.com is the main website. Go over to the Small Business Technology Roadshow if it hasn't happened already by the time you're watching this and sign up for this. Sign up for this one day event. You get CPE credits. You can bring all the clients you want if you're an accounting professional. If you're a small business owner, as Doug mentioned, bring your accountant because <laughs> then the accountant pays for it and yours is free. But it's a full day of learning about some really, really cool apps that are really going to make a difference and make your life easier. So I hope to see you at the Los Angeles one. If you are in the LA area and signing up, please, please reach out to me and let me know that you're going to be there. I would love to meet you in person. This is Seth David for the Sleeter Group signing off. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.